Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make some beef pot roast and we're gonna bake this to the oven. And these are the meat. The yellow on the top, the orange is color. It is all seasoning, salt. And also I have some chunks of meat. I like to add it some chunk beef in my pot roast. Okay, so here's are the ingredients. Fresh celery, fresh carrots, um, potato, bell peppers, white onions, a stick of butter, one tablespoon of flour, two cups of water, again seasoning salt, black pepper, and salt. So these are the ingredients for our pot roast. Okay, so first thing first, we're going to massage the seasoning salt. Now you have to be careful if you added some salt in your pot roast, okay? Why it's important to put some seasoning in your meat before putting to the baking pan because it's important, guys, that really will balance your meat. Or, or the meal, I mean not the meal, but the dish rather. Okay, so I already put this here. Okay, now we're going to put this in here to our baking pan. So next is we're going to massage the seasoning salt in this chunk beef. Okay, then I am going to put this to our baking pan. Okay, there we go. Okay, so next we're going to do is we're going to Okay, so next we're going to add, it's our vegetables, okay? So the potato, the carrots, the celery, okay, so all of that. So don't worry about if it's look really, really full because they will, um, this is going to shrink once the vegetable is cooked, okay? Okay, so next we're gonna add a little bit of salt in our vegetables. It's really, really important. That it's really well seasoned, okay? Then we're gonna add some a little bit of seasoning salt. Then we're gonna add our bell peppers, our white onions, okay? They look really full, so don't worry about it because they will be uh, shrinking it once you cook, okay, the meat. So I love putting uh, a lot of fresh vegetables in my um, pot roast. So next is we're going to put our butter, okay. So the butter you just like spread everywhere, just like that, okay. Why we add butter in our pot roast? Because when you're cooking a beef, there is no fat in it. Your meat will kind of uh, dry. So it's important you add a little bit of fat in your patro. So this is the best, best, best recipe. So I hope you're trying this at home. It is so delicious. Then we add a little bit more of seasoning salt on the top again. Okay. It's like that. A little bit of salt the top now we're gonna do to our flour why we add flour to kind of while you're cooking they're giving kind of a thicken our fat trust okay so we're going to drop this to this um, recipe okay so we just pour it just like that add a little bit more water Okay, so the two cups of water they'll be including the mix to our flour. Okay, just like that. Now the reason why we don't put a lot of liquid in our patros because again all the vegetables will produce liquid. Okay, so this is how they look, guys. And then we're gonna get a little foil. Okay, so now we're going to wrap this. Okay, 
we're gonna cover with a long foil. Okay, we're gonna set our temperature for 375 and we're gonna bake this for three hours. Okay, so stay tuned guys. 